welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a quick review on the Dominique Cosmetics Lemonade Palette. I know I'm so behind on all my reviews. I apologize well in advance. So if you have been waiting for my review on this palette, God, I don't know why you would wait on my review, but in case you did, thank you so much for your patience. I feel like this palette has definitely been forgotten about since there's like a million holiday releases coming, but I still think it's something worth keeping your eye out. I feel like this was a definitely an amazing summer launch, and I feel like this is also a really great palette for somebody that's trying to kind of get into color, but they're a little bit scared because there are some great shades here that you can play with color, but it's still conservative enough where it appeals to a mass audience. It's not like a crazy bright rainbow palette, which is one of my favorite things about it. And also the shimmers, they're not like super glittery. So subtle, but still beautiful and work appropriate, which I think is something I need to start talking more about on my channel. Obviously, most of you have professional jobs or you're, you know, starting off in the professional field. And I have the opportunity or the luxury where I can wear whatever the heck I want to work. I think it's so funny because my boss is like, oh my gosh, Karen, I never know what eye look you're going to walk in here with. And he doesn't care. And neither do any of my coworkers. I don't really speak to customers in person. I just talk on the phone. So like, it really doesn't matter what I'm doing. I can go to work in jeans and a t-shirt. I realize some of you have much more professional jobs and you are either in banking or real estate and you have to see people all the time. I still think you could get away with this palette because I think it's subtle enough. So that's pretty much all I have to say. I love the formula. There's 10 shades in here. There's four mattes, six shimmers. Dami Cosmetics is now sold at Ulta, at Sephora, at on her website. So. If you wanna try it out and you're scared to buy on her side, I would recommend the other two retailers because you can always return. And the one thing I wanna tell you guys is, oh my gosh, this shade Chai Tea is like the coolest shade. It's kind of like a purpley, I don't even know how to explain it, like a purpley brown. I've never seen a color like this and I love putting this in my crease so, so much. Let me swatch some of the shimmers for you guys as well. Like I said, they're very subtle. They're not overly glittery. And I kind of forget about that because I feel like I'm always like trying to have the most, like I'm trying to do the most when I put shimmers on my eyes. And this palette kind of made me realize like, hey Karen, you know, sometimes subtle shimmers can be beautiful too. So I really appreciate that about this palette. I still have her latte palette that I want to try out and test out and review for you guys. but. Let me know your thoughts. I did have a little hiccup with this palette because there was a bad batch. I do need to mention that or I should address that in this video. So when I got my palette, I did a swatch party and the shades were just not swatching the greatest. And I was like, you know what? It's fine. Let me try it on my eyes. I hated it. I mentioned it in a video. And then one of my subscribers was like, Karen, you know what? They're having trouble with certain batches. Just email them. Her customer service was amazing. Like. I know it would be nice if like we could have a perfect world where nothing ever went wrong. I do feel like it is important for companies to really strive for higher standards. Now I work for a small business. Are we perfect? Hell no. We mess up things all the time and I really appreciate our customers that are patient with us. So I try to be patient with makeup companies too, especially like brands that are starting up, even if it's an influencer. It might seem like these people have tons of money, guys. There is so much investment that goes into any small business. So it's important for us to kind of keep that in perspective. It's so easy for even me to forget that because I'm like, shoot, she has like Gucci, this, that, this, that. But that's all like investment, you know? It's something that either you're borrowing money that needs to get paid back or it's your own funds. So I was really you know, impressed by how her customer service handled it. You know, once I emailed them, they were like, yes, you did get a bad one. We're so sorry. Um, we'll send you a new one as soon as we get more. And they did. I got my palette. Everything was fine. It did take a little bit, which was kind of annoying. But for the most part, they handled it really, really well. So if you feel like you have a bad batch, I would recommend just emailing them just to be on the safe side because this is a gorgeous palette and I think it does deserve a chance from all of us. So that is everything I wanted to tell you guys about the Dominique Cosmetics Lemonade Palette. Also, did I forget to mention that this palette is $42? 
I might have forgotten. Oh, let me look on the back too. Is there anything else I want to tell you guys? 12 month shelf life and there is 1.4 grams a product in here and it is made in the USA which is great so if you did enjoy this video please give me a thumbs up leave me a comment down below tell me if you are interested in this brand or did they just like screw things up so bad you're never gonna try them again I totally understand either which way but I will see you guys in my next video bye